welcome students today i will discuss some typical problems of inverse circular functions basically these problems are problems of different competitive exam please see the description for accessing the pdf of the problem problems are given in pdf form you look there are seven or eight similar type of problem under one 1a 1b 1c dot dot 1a now look the problem number 1b i have already discussed this type of problem these are problems relating principal value of inverse circular functions this is general problem so it is i equals to 1 to 2n sin inverse xi equals to n by in the introductory class we have solved this type of problem for 1 2 or 3 for up to 3 inverse circular functions for example sin inverse x sin inverse y plus sin inverse z equals to 3 by y2 but, but look here how many terms sin inverse x1 sin inverse x2 dot dot sin inverse x2n that is 2n number of terms Look, sine inverse x1 lesser than equals to pi y2. So how many terms here? Two n. So two n into pi y2. So you get n pi. If we take maximum value of each sine inverse x i, that is up to two n terms, then we get n pi. So sine inverse x1 equals to pi y2. Sine inverse x2 lesser than equals to pi y2. Sine inverse x2 a lesser than equals to pi y2. If you add, so sine inverse x1 plus sine inverse x2 plus dot dot. Sine inverse x two a lesser than equals to two a into pi y two. That is lesser than equals to n pi. That is maximum value of the expression n pi. Now what is our given value? This equals to n pi. So this relation. is true when each term is equals to pi y that is sin inverse x1 sin inverse x2 dot dot sin inverse x2 n equals to pi y so what is x1 sin pi y2 that is 1 similarly x2 equals to 1 Dot dot x to n equals to one. So x one equals to x two. Dot dot x to n equals to one. Now you have to find value of summation x i i equals to one to n. That is x one x two. Dot dot x squared 1 1 1 so how many ones 2n number of ones that is so value is 2 if it is 1 to 10 value is 10 <coughs> that is maximum value of 
we are using maximum value of principal value of sine inverse now problem number f exactly same problem so look sine inverse x maximum value is pi by 2 here is pi pi plus pi by 2 c pi by 2 here you have to use the principal value so look sine inverse ax lesser than equals to pi by 2 cos inverse a plus x by 2 lesser than equals to pi so sin inverse x cos inverse this is given in mixed form lesser than equals to c pi by 2 so maximum value of the expression is c pi by 2 now what is your given value so given relation so given relation is true when sin inverse ax equals to pi by q and cos inverse a plus x by 2 equals to pi So what we are getting a x equals to sine pi by two equals to one and a plus x by two cos pi equals to minus one. So a plus x equals to minus two. Solve these two equation a x equals to one and a plus x equals to minus two. So here a x equals to one. So what is a? A is one by x plus a x equals to minus two. So x square minus plus two x plus one equals to zero. So what is x? X plus one whole square zero. So x equals to minus. So if x equals to minus one, then a equals to one by x again it is minus one. So look sine. What is the value? Sine pi by a plus x. Pi by a plus x equals to sine pi by minus two equals to minus one. So these types of problems they are same type of problems now second type <laughs> so summation of series so look problem number 3 So in three, there are eight problems. Eight problems. Sum of series. So write two a. They are same type. Ten inverse one by two into one square. Ten inverse one by two into two square. Ten inverse. One by two into three square dot dot infinity. B. Four inverse two n square a equals to one two infinity. C. Ten inverse one by One plus r plus r square. R equals to one to n. Equals to ten inverse n plus one minus pi by two. They are of 
same type. Eight problems. So what is our main aim? To find T A. Just like series. To find T A. So for the problem number B, T A is given. Problem number C, T A is given. But for the problem number one, T A is not given. So look, for T1, 2 into 1 square, T2, 2 into 2 square, so what is TR? Tan inverse as it is, 1 as it is, 2 into R square. Look, whether it is true or not, if you put 1, you get this 2, 3. Now, our main aim will be to express this strand as a difference of two times. So you know tan inverse x minus tan inverse y. Tan inverse x minus y one plus x. This is formula. So write tan inverse two by 4 R square. Why we are taking it? Why we are multiplying numerator and denominator by 2? It will be clear for the second step. Now this equals to 10 inverse. So 1 at the beginning. 4 R square minus 1. Because formula is 1 plus X Y. Now you express 4 R square minus 1 as a product of 2 terms. So that's why we are taking here 2. So tan inverse 2 by 1 plus 2 R plus 1 into 2 R minus 1 equals to tan inverse. Two R plus one minus two R minus one one plus two R plus one two R minus one equals to ten inverse two R plus one minus ten inverse two R minus one. So this is our main aim. In a P series, you know. You have to express T A as a difference of two terms. So tan inverse two R plus one minus tan inverse this. This is T R. Look for the second one exactly same problem. T N is cot inverse two N square. This equals to tan inverse one by this. Now, right. Putting R equals to 1, 2, 3, dot, dot, A. So, this is our TR. So, putting R equals to 1, 2, 3, dot, dot, A. So, what is T1? 10 inverse 3 minus 10 inverse 1. This is T1, T2, tan inverse 5 minus tan inverse 3, T3, tan inverse 7 minus tan inverse 5. So what is Tn? Tan inverse 2n plus 1. Minus tan inverse to n minus 1. So if you add, you look t1, t2, t3 dot dot tn. This is Sn sum up to n terms. You look tan inverse 3, a diagonal term will be cancelled out. So you are living with only two terms. So tan inverse 2n plus 1 
minus 10 inverse y. So this is Sn. So for the problem number 3, find sum up to n. But according to this problem, you have to find sum up to infinity. So what is S infinity? 10 inverse, n is replaced by infinity, minus 10 inverse 1. So pi by 2 minus pi by 4 equals to pi by 4. So pi by 4 is our answer. So second one, exactly same. For the third one, you look. So this is very simple problem. If you want to write as a difference of two terms, so you see only one step. One as it is. This is R into R plus 1. So this one is R plus 1 minus R. So this is summation R equals to 1 to N tan inverse R plus 1 minus tan inverse then exactly 7. So you try rest of the problem of 3. These are same types of problem. Now problem number 2. Right. Here there are two problems. You see the PDF. Look. Two. If ten inverse minus alpha theta minus theta cube by three factorial three. Theta to the power 5 by factorial 5 dot dot infinity plus cot inverse alpha minus 1 plus theta square by factorial minus theta to the power 4 by factorial 4 dot dot infinity equals to pi by 2. Then maximum value of alpha. Maximum value of alpha. To solve this problem, you know, you need expansion of series. So, try to record what is formula of sin x. x minus x cube by factorial 3 x to the power 5 by factorial 5 dot dot infinity. Cos x 1 minus x square by factorial 2 x to the power 4 by factorial 4 dot dot infinity. Similarly, you know e to the power x log 1 plus x. So, use the expansion of these two to the given condition. So, what we are getting? tan inverse minus alpha plus sin theta plus cot inverse alpha minus sin theta equals to pi by 2. So, transfer one term to right hand side, pi by 2 minus cot inverse x, you know tan inverse x. So, now tan inverse sin theta minus alpha equals to pi by 2 minus 
cot inverse alpha minus sin theta equals to tan inverse alpha minus sin sorry this is look tan inverse minus alpha plus sin theta so this is expansion of cos theta this is expansion of cos theta. so alpha minus cos theta so tan inverse alpha minus cos theta so it is tan inverse this one also tan inverse therefore sin theta minus alpha alpha minus cos theta so sin theta plus cos theta by 2 Equals to alpha. Now, what is maximum value of alpha? So you know, maximum value of a sin x plus b cos x. What is maximum value? Root over a square plus b square. So alpha max equals to half into one square plus one square. One by So this one alpha max one by root two. So similar type of problem in two B. Try to solve it. Next one. So we have already discussed these type of problems in previous classes. Look some sine inverse, sine tangent radian. Because we use concept of this for a general problem. So tangent radian. So sine inverse sine x. Here tangent radian does not belongs to principal value so this is problem number 5 so you can write it sin inverse sin in terms of pi minus theta 2 pi minus theta 3 pi minus theta so this is 3 pi minus 10 Three pi minus ten. It belongs to you know three pi minus ten belongs to principal value. Belongs to principal value. Belongs to principal value because three pi. Approx 3 pi 180 into 3 540 and this is 570 so minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 so sine 3 pi minus 10 equals to sine 10 now this belongs to principal value so what is the final value 3 pi minus 10 so this concept using this concept we use for So right. E. Thirteen. Three less than equals to a less than four. Then value of sine inverse sine a tan inverse 
tan A. Plus set inverse set A equals share. What is third bracket? Greatest integer function of A. You know, greatest integer function. So look. Value is integer, but not exceeding a. For example, third bracket x equals to zero. Zero less than x less than one. One one less than x less than two, and so on. So look, here a lies between three to four. So three less than equals to a less than four implies third bracket a. What is third bracket a? Three. Because three is included, four is not included. So this third bracket it is greatest integer function. So consider the expression. Look, sine inverse. What is a? Third bracket a is three. Sine inverse. Sine three. Three means three radian. Tan inverse. Tan three radian. Plus sec inverse. Sec three radian. Now, use the idea of earlier problem. So three radian, three radian. So it for sine three radian fifty seven into three. So greater than ninety. So it is not principal value of sine. So it is not principal value of not principal value of ten, but three radian equals to three into fifty seven degree approximately. So this is less than one eighty. So principal value of say lies between zero to pi. So it lies within principal value. So second verse say three equals to three, but These are not. So sine inverse sine pi minus pi minus three equals to sine three. These belongs to principal value. Pi minus three, one eighty minus this belongs to zero to nine. Tan inverse. This is tan. Pi minus three, tan pi minus three equals to minus tan three, but it is plus. So actually, tan pi minus three put here minus pi minus three minus this minus is plus, and this is only three. So sine inverse pi minus three. So this is pi minus three. Tan inverse minus theta. So minus tan inverse. So minus tan inverse. Tan pi minus three plus three. So finally pi minus three pi minus three plus three. So what you are getting? Pi minus three minus pi plus three plus. So answer is three. Answer is three. Look. So this is vital. Sine inverse sine three. 
this is not three. So use pi minus three to pi minus three and look, this argument belongs to principal value or not. So value is. Now look, next problem. So inequations of inverse circular functions. So problem number seven. In equation. Sign inverse, sign i again, same type of problem, greater than x square minus x. So same, sign inverse, sign 5. So 5 radian. This 5 does not belongs to principal. So sine inverse pi minus pi two pi minus pi. You have to use log two pi minus pi. Two pi three sixty fifty seven into pi roughly. 285. So it belongs to principal less than 90. So greater than x square minus 4x. Or you consider y equals to 3.14 into 2 minus 5. You have to look whether it belongs to minus 1 to plus 1. So this implies 2 pi minus pi greater than x square minus 4x. So x square minus 4x plus 2 pi minus pi greater than. So x square minus 4x 2 pi minus pi less than 0. Now you solve this in equation. So look, what is our theory? So if we get linear equations like that, x minus a, x minus b less than 0 and if a less than b, then we know a less than x less than b. Value of x lies between a to b. So look, if we consider here x, so what is x? 4 plus minus. If we consider these are equations, 4 plus minus b square 16 minus 4 into 2 pi minus 5. It will be plus by 2 into 1. So 4 plus minus. 16 minus 20. So this is 8 pi minus 4 so root by 2. So 2 plus minus 2 outside. So this is 2 pi minus 1. So let us consider it again. So look, 2 pi minus 5, sine 2 pi minus 5, sine 2 pi minus theta equals to minus sine theta. So here you have to put here minus. 
because sin 2 pi minus 5 minus sin theta this minus so this will be low this minus and this minus is sin 5 so this will be 5 minus 2 pi so this is wrong 5 minus 2 pi so you are getting 5 minus 2 pi theta so x square minus 4x look minus 2 pi minus 5 less than 0 2 pi minus 5 so what is x look now you consider 4 plus minus b square 16 minus 4 into 1 into 2 pi minus 5 and this will be plus and this is 2 into a so 4 plus minus so 16 this is 8 pi x square minus 4x, 2 pi minus 5, b square minus 4. So, 16, 16 minus, minus plus. So, this is minus 8 pi plus 36 by 2. So, finally, what you are getting, 2 plus minus 4 comma. 9 minus 2 pi. So, look, this is less than in equation. So, what actually we are getting? x minus 2. x minus 2 plus 9 minus 2 pi into x minus 2. Plus 9 minus 2 pi less than 0. So, this is less than in equation. So, x belongs to, what is x? x belongs to, what? x equals to 2 minus 9 minus 2 pi comma. 2 plus 9 minus 2 pi. So, look it again. Look it again. So, look. Sine inverse sine 5 greater than x square minus 4x. Now, this 5, this not belongs to principal value. So, sine we can write it 2 pi minus 5. Sin 2 pi minus 5 is minus sin 5. That is why this one is minus. So, sin inverse minus x. Minus sin inverse x. So, what we are getting? 5 minus 2 pi. So, transfer all term to one side. And multiplying by this x square minus 4x plus 2 pi minus 5. We have written here minus 5. So, this was wrong. Now, this is less than in equation. Try to factorize. So, this is not easy to factorize. So, that is why we use general rule if it is 0. So, what were the two values? This values here. So, since it is, since it is less than in equation. So, value lies between these two values. So, x belongs to this. Now, look, one more problem of inequation. 
सपोज सेवेन सी सेवेन सी पोर्ट इन वर्स इन बाई पाई ग्रेटर देन इन बाई सिक्स एन बिलोंग्स टू कैपिटल एन फाइंड लिस्ट वैल्यू ऑफ एन फाइंड लिस्ट वैल्यू ऑफ एन सो यू नो साइन इन वर्स टेन इन वर्स दिज आर इंक्रीजिंग फंक्शन Cot inverse, cos inverse, they are decreasing functions. So, if you take n by pi, this is this is I think this is pi by six. We write it as pi by six. Pi by six. First we write cot pi by six. So if we take cot in cot on both side, so cot inverse cot absorb. So this is greater than. So it will be less than. It will be less than because it is decreasing function. So nature of inequation will be changed. So n by pi less than root three. So what is n less than root three pi? So root three one point seven three into three point one four. You multiply three point one four. One point seven. So look, बारो तीन तीनों चार से चार खास सात तीन से एक उस दिस फोर इनटू थ्री इनटू फोर दिस इज वन एंड दिस वन इज थ्री सो टू ट्वेल्थ Approximately n less than 5.43. N less than this. N less than this. So what is this value? You write the this one. So you correct it. This is pi by six. So least value is five. Least value is I. Now, to find maximum and minimum value, to find maximum and minimum value of inverse circular functions. So right, A. Sin inverse x whole cube. Cos inverse x whole cube.
Suppose this one is y. Now, sec inverse x, this is cosec inverse x. You know, sec inverse x plus cosec inverse x is pi by 2. So, try to write it in terms of only one inverse circular. Sec inverse x from square. So two sec inverse x whole square minus sec inverse x whole square sec inverse x whole square. So two into pi by two into sec inverse x plus pi square by four. Plus y square by 4. So, what is your idea of finding minimum value? You know, if y equals to some whole square plus constant, then minimum value is 5. So, you want to, we want to express this in the form of whole square. So, two common. Coefficient of a sec inverse x, 1. And a sec inverse x, whole square. 2 into sec inverse x. 2 common. This is pi by 2. So this will be pi by 4. Plus pi square by 16. We make it vertex square. Plus pi square by 4. Minus pi square by 16. So look, this one, so 2 common, this is sec inverse x whole square, pi by 2 sec inverse x, plus pi square by 2, pi square by 2, if you take common 2, then look, we want to express it in terms of whole square, sec inverse x whole square, 2a sec inverse x, to make it pi by 2, this is pi by 4. So, pi square by 16 plus pi square by 2 into this. So, 2 into sec inverse x plus minus pi by 4 whole square plus this is the LCM 16 LCM. So, 8 minus 7 pi square. 7 pi square. So look at again. Sec inverse x plus cosec inverse x. Sec inverse x whole square pi by 2 minus sec inverse x whole square. So sec inverse x whole square, sec inverse x whole square. 2 sec inverse x. 2 into pi by 2 into sec inverse x plus pi square by 2. So, 2 common sec inverse x whole square minus 2 sec inverse x. 2 common it will be actually pi by 2. So, to make it balance this is pi by 4. This is pi by 4. Plus to make it perfect square pi square by 16. Now 2 common, here we have taken 2 common, 2 common means it is pi square by, I think this is 8, 2 common, so pi square by 8, so look this step, and this is pi square by 16, 
so this is y now look this is greater than equals to 0 so it will be minima when this equals to 0 so what is y minima 2 in 0 plus pi square by 16 equals to pi square by 8. So, minimum value is pi square by 8. So, similarly, the second one sin inverse x, cos inverse x. This is pi by 2 minus this. Next problem. No. In equation, maximum and minimum value. So we have solved this type of problem already. Next right. So problem number ten. Problem number nine. This is, we have already solved in the previous class. Problem number 10. Two problems. Exactly same. So write. Quote inverse. Root over cos alpha. Minus tan inverse. Root over cos alpha. Equals to x. Then sin x equals b u equals to cot inverse root over tan theta minus tan inverse root over tan theta then tan pi by 4 minus u by 2 equals exactly same problem you need calculation so consider one of the problem suppose problem number b so what is our given condition u equals to this this is what inverse tan tan inverse root over so what we want to express both in terms of tan so this one is tan inverse 1 by root over tan theta minus tan inverse root over So tan inverse A minus tan inverse B, tan inverse 1 by root tan theta minus root tan theta. So 1 plus 1 by root tan theta into root over tan theta. So this is U, U equals to this. Now look. Simplify it again. So, if you transfer tan to left hand side, we get tan u equals to it's a right sum u equals to tan inverse. We simplify it first. This is 2, so 2 into root over tan theta. This is 1 minus. So what is tan u? Tan u equals to 1 minus tan theta 2 into root over tan theta. <coughs> now
1 minus tan theta. So, cos theta minus sin theta by 2 into 2 into root over sin theta 2 into root over sin theta 1 cos theta minus sin theta so root cos theta and this is root sorry this one is cos theta so finally cos theta minus sin theta by 2 into root over sin theta cos theta. <coughs> now, look it again, this is cot inverse, tan inverse 1 by tan theta, tan inverse 1 by tan minus tan, 1 plus 1, this is 2 tan theta. 1 minus tan theta, 1 minus tan theta, so tan u, tan u, tan u equals to cos theta minus sin theta by this. Now, What is your result? So tan pi by 4 minus u by 2. So 1 minus tan u by 2 by 1 plus tan u by 2. So we know tan u we have to find this is in terms of u by 2, u by 2, so write tan u, 2 tan u by 2, 1 minus tan square u by 2 equals to cos theta minus sin theta by 2 into root over sin theta cos theta. So from this you find value of tan u by 2 and put it. You get Next, so look, eleven A ten in bar. Cot A plus tan inverse cot Q A plus tan half tan 2 A equals to pi A 0 less than A less than pi by 4. B sin inverse 12 by 13 cot inverse 4 by 3 tan inverse 63 by 16 equals to what? 5 hello 
we have already discussed it, this type of problem. So, formula of tan inverse x plus tan inverse y. You know, this will be tan inverse. We generally use this one. What is the restriction? x greater than 0, y greater than 0, x, y less than 1 and pi plus tan inverse x plus y 1 minus x y x greater than 0 y greater than 0 x y greater than 1 so look generally <coughs> if we consider this type of problem and we, if we do not see the restriction then we get answer as 0. Here, some students write answer as 0. Here, answer is 0. So, look, problem number 11a. 11a. So, tan inverse 40. Tan inverse 40. So, 0 less than a, less than 5 by 4. So, what is 40? 40 greater than 1 in this interval 0 to pi by 4 or a greater than 1 so for 30 degree root 3 for pi by 4 is 1 so in between this so what is cot q a this is also greater than 1 therefore what is product cot a into cot q a this is also greater than so, if we use formula here, so this argument x greater than 1, y, x is positive, y is positive, but product is greater than 1, here less than 1. So, what will be our formula? Pi plus tan inverse this. So, 11a, look. So, if we consider this within this restriction, it will be pi plus tan inverse, cot a plus cot cube a, 1 minus cot to the power 4a, plus this one unchanged. So, simplify pi tan inverse. So, 1 plus cot square a cancel. So, this is cot a 1 minus cot square a. Factorize 1 plus cot square a cancel out. Tan 2a. Now, try to express it in terms of tan. So, pi plus tan inverse tan a by tan square a minus 1, tan half tan a. Now look, tan 2a, what is formula of tan 2a? Tan 2a, what is formula? 2 tan a by 1 minus tan square a. So here 2 is not present, so we have to take here 2 and balance it minus 1. So this equals to pi plus tan inverse minus half into, look at this step, 2 tan a by 1 minus tan square a tan half tan a. So, pi plus tan inverse minus half, this is tan a. Tan half tan a. Now, look, tan inverse minus x is minus tan inverse x. So, pi minus tan inverse minus
minus half ten to a. A minus this one is at the beginning. Half ten to a. Ten. Half ten to a. So this one is cancel out. So you are getting answer as five. So look. This restriction, otherwise you get answer as zero. So if the restriction is like that, you note it. If, if the restriction is like that, what is the restriction? Pi by four less than a less than pi by two. Then cot a less than one. So what is cot q a less than one? In this case. We write only this part, pi plus. So in this case, answer will be zero. So see the restriction. If restriction is given, restriction is given, we use the proper formula. Now one more problem. You look. Problem number 16. If range of function f x equals to cos inverse 5x, this is greatest integer function, is a b c. And a plus b plus c equals to lambda into pi by two. Then lambda equals. Look, this is not third bracket. This is greatest integer function. This is g i f. So cos inverse 5x. You know minus 1 less than cos minus 1 less than argument in the in cos and sine this argument must lie between minus 1 to plus 1. So what are the integer values? So what is 5x? Integer value. What are the integer values? Third bracket 5x equals to minus 1, 0 and 1. Minus 1, 0 and 1. So what are the range? The right range equals to cos inverse minus 1, cos inverse 0, cos inverse 1. So this is pi minus cos inverse 1, this is pi, this one is 1. This one is zero. This one is pi by two. So what is a? A equals to pi. B equals to pi by two. C equals to zero. So a plus b plus c lambda into pi by two. So pi plus pi by two plus zero lambda into pi by two. So three pi by two equals to lambda into pi by two. So what is lambda? So lambda equals to. So 
रूप भी देंगे कोस इनवर्स फाइव एक्स ग्रेटेस्ट इंटीजर सो डोमेन ऑफ कोस इनवर्स एक्स माइनस वन टू प्लस वन क्या एक्स इज रिप्लेस बाय हाइट ब्रैकेट फाइव एक्स ग्रेटेस्ट इंटीजर सो इन बिटवीन माइनस वन टू प्लस वन व्हाट आर द इंटीजर वैल्यूज माइनस वन जीरो एंड वन so what is what is range range is, here in the second bracket cos inverse minus 1 cos inverse 0 so a this is b this is c this is c so you get putting value you get then that goes to Thanks a lot. You will try the rest of the problem. 